All right, all right, all right, all right. So what do we got? Episode one, Realm of the Shadows. Bruce Wayne navigates the treacherous waters of Gotham politics as a series of shocking allegations surface while Batman confronts Gotham's most notorious crime boss. Let's get it. Where should the camera be? Left, right, or middle? Oh shit, right off the bat, son. <laughs> Fuck your face, bro. want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. What the hell? Bruce, we can't keep doing this. I have to. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safe now. Which made you a target. I think the music's too loud. Keep you in the crossfires until you shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Got in. Don't let it get out. All right, let's get back in here. What was that? <laughs> so I do have to push buttons. This is weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. In the fucking ankle, bro. Uh-oh. 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 Got his ass. <laughs> Yeet. Yeet. Come on now. Uh oh. Smoke him out, baby. Hit him with that loud. Hit him with the loud, bro. That's. Come on. He gone. Yup. You know it. Why would you even run, bro? You know what time it is. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's go. I know you're trying oh. to myth. Oh. But be careful you don't turn into a monster. <sighs> Sometimes you need a monster. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Come at! Come on! Come on! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boom. Come on. Yep, you know it. Oh yeah. Everything. Oh That's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. Woo! Come on. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. There it is. Ah, oh, get out of town. Woo! In the eye, baby. Whoa. There it is. There it is. Ah. Oh. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Nope. Behind you, big boy. Ow! She gone. She gone. Come on, Batman. Where you are. Nope, ain't gonna happen. You're under, arrest. You're under arrest. Oh shit, I didn't even see it. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so at least. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Shit. Not a scratch. So far. Tell him, Batman. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. Mm. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Oh. Bring it, Bat. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Oh, oh, she's kinky with it. She kinky with it. Ow. Oh, oh, man. Ah. Ooh -wee. Uh, in the fucking jaw? Directly in the jaw, bro. Oh, oh, she cut us. We gotta get a tetanus shot. There it is. Uh. Woo! All that. All that. Uh. Over the shoulder. Coming in from the top rope. There it is. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Uh-oh. There it is. Oh shit. Got your ass! Got your ass! <laughs> you ain't getting away from this. Jesus. I got it. Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Fucking rookies. 
Get out of town. Come on. What up? Woo! There it is. Uh. What? What? Woo wee! Oh! What? Absolutely fucking fire. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh shit. God damn it. I said don't shoot. No. Wait. Man, that motherfucker shot me! I'm just gonna act like everything's cool? Come on, brother. Wham! Get your ass. Oh! She going down. You gotta jump off, superhero. With a bullet in your fucking spine. Ah! Batman! I've got you. Yeet. That was intense. Uh, guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got shot, bro. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. You can do what you do, man. Adjust that tie. That's, I just got shot in the oblique swag right there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank the you. Humble district attorney thank like you. myself thank is you. not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. But for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Hmm. Together can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Uh-huh. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Sh well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Play the part. Together, Play the part. We will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax. It was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What? A chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? <laughs> not playing the game, Bruce. Tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. 
It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent! For the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you. <laughs> Hello, Sippy Sippy. Around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. There you go. There you go. What I said. Together, you and me. We change Gotham, a city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Okay, time to play politics, huh? It's been super chill so far, Cat. I actually was like really into that fight scene. Mr. Huh. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller, Bob. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent? We believe God dang, look at that receding all, hairline right there. support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I <laughs> every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment maybe uh, well I don't like to think about maybes and I'm sure you don't either well Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one a vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents you'll have it boom thank you boom thank you <laughs> secured it let's go huh, not saying I doubted you but that went better than expected Locked it in. It is a night of ringing endorsements. I was like, we had to switch the subject. I was feeling awkward about that. We drinking more? Oh, well, Never mind. Hello. Well, hello. Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? I do, you actually. Can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Mr. 
Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It's just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Leave. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. No. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe you can change your mind. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. All right, we need to go real medium, yeah, like middle of the road. House. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. That's a pretty intense zoom in right there. Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At hey, what's private audience oh, come on guys Bruce you'll be fine out there Harvey I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes have a drink have a talk we talk alone just you and me sorry Harvey yeah I'll uh I'll get a drink or something Christ he told me to play nice we're just listening right now. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. This man just poured his own drink. And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. Now fucking polishing your Q-tip, bitch. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. 
One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now, that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Bring it on, Falcone. I ain't no dirty bitch, and it ain't going down like that. You gotta stand your ground, man. When somebody puts their wood in your face and says, polish it, sometimes you just gotta throw that fucking shit right back in their face. Bow! Get that shit up out of here. We gonna have our hands full. It's me. Okay, okay. Awesome. What a crazy intro. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with break and entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. Hmm. There we go. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. It's crazy just listening. So we got some gadgets we can look at. Got the data drive. Let's check that out. Nearly fell off a building for this. Check it out, bro. What you got? Okay. With the chair that comes out of the floor? Come on. Come on. 
That's next level. I would like that. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. <laughs> Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I'm controlling it. All right. This is a map of the East Side shoreline. Could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. It's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought uh, they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Absolutely. Back when it still had one. It can again, Bruce. Though people What's like up, man? How's it going, Playboy? Helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. It's going good, man. How you doing today, brother? Sorry, sorry. Sometimes the sounds get to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's the family right there. They really want me to read all these? The family butler? Oh yeah. Alfred? Alfred at Pennyworth. Ooh. Mm, yeah, we got a little bit of Batman going on. We finished up Cloud Punk last night, man. Really, really, really good game, man. I enjoyed it. But after two days, we, we beat it. It's a good story, good story. Dennis! What's up, my dude? How are you doing? How's the family? How's your day? Tell me about it, Dr. Green Thumb. Oh, here we go. Oh, Harvey Dent, the uh, district attorney. Mm-hmm. Then we got Hamilton Hill over here, the current mayor of Gotham City. Exhibit A and what's wrong with this city. Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago and he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make it stick. He's rotten to the core and one day his city will realize. Harvey's out there doing his best and hopefully this upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corruptive administration. There we go. Crimes, burglary, what do we got? Petty larceny, old cat burglar, huh? New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's efficient and doesn't leave many clues behind. Come on. Uh, Oswald Cobblepot. Is that really his last name? Penguin. Ah. 
arms dealing, deadly boxing matches, receiving stolen property, a good childhood friend, but almost a stranger these days. Just like Mia's family fell apart here in Gotham, he went off to boarding school in England, paths diverge, seems to have fallen into a life of crime, two decades, a lengthy rap sheet, the penguin. Wow. Just like that. Just like that. James Gordon, okay, lieutenant. That's the one whose guy uh, shot me by the book cop department. Doesn't trust Batman. Uh, okay, criminal task force. Trustworthy, reliable source of information. Need to cultivate the relationship, so we gotta tickle his fancy. He's a family man, not willing to take necessary risks on the streets. Okay, all right. Oh, Vicky Vale, huh? The journalist. Mm hmm. Ambition. Competent. Knows her stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yo, Shoker, I appreciate you, my dude. Dirty ass Falcone. Can't stand this guy. Gotham City, 10 million people, Arkham Asylum, psych ward, outdated, falling apart, inadequate. All right, all right, uh -huh. 1870, multinational, manufacturing of finance. Okay, that's Pop's company over there, research and development, okay, okay, all right. So I think we checked everyone out. Very interesting. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. Uh-huh. As Bruce or Batman. Stare at him. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself. And not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's going to figure it out now. Trust me. Trust they me. They all noticed your injuries. So did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right. You're right. I... Should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I saw Oz in what 20 years last time I saw him we were in grade school indeed you two were thick as thieves <laughs> Oswald however took that role more literally than you I saw him will discharge illegal boxing matches arms dealing prison stints yeah that's a criminal grand slam if I'm using the expression correctly fortunately you are Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. You think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Mm. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Damn. You tell me we got a busted ass park we're about to go to and meet a guy we haven't seen in years who's got all kinds of issues going on? Okay. Let's check it out. Where are you, Oz?
Oh, this is interesting. Bruce Wayne associating with Kingpin. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to move around with the WSDA key. Everything's been so movie-like, it's weird when we actually take control. Examine them, give them change. Think we should give them some money? There you go, bro. I'm a billionaire. Thank you, sir. Yeah, bro, get your shit together. Uh huh. Cold night? There you go. There you go. Get warm, bro. Get warm. You're looking thin. Uh oh. Great. Statue, but no Oz. How's the storyline been so far? So far, so good, man. It's a different kind of type of game. <laughs> I was not expecting like everything that's been here so far, but yeah, storyline's good. It's nice and uh, developing right now. Do we really want to talk to the guy who's smoking? Seems dirty. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. End him. Fuck that, bro. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment. Come here. I think that'll do. That shit up out of here, bro. Ah. Uh. Oh shit! Elbow to the back of the fucking neck. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Woo! There it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, Bruce, you've got a little, uh, hey, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. At least I can... Yo, man, take care, much. brother. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad 
Injured it yourself, you did. Oof. My family's fortune. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you have a chance, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily. <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in there. There we go. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. Yup. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him hit pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Right. <laughs> upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Sounds good, man. Have fun. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. Revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen. Don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Well, he gave us a friendly warning. Shit's about to hit the fan. There you go. The swag of somebody who got shot in their obliques. Well, that was an interesting development, wasn't it? Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> no, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. We're still... Those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, ah. a sizable contribution from <laughs> this man. Here, Lord, Tig! We break ground on a state of the art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Here we go. Uh... For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, 
They're suffering. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Fuck today. Wrong direction. Of that Wrong day, direction. We dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. No, we All right, who's up next? Shit. Uh, you there. I don't know if that was the best option. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Wow. That turned out very quickly. Hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. 
The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. Nice. For all our sakes. Nice. Now you've got nothing to hide. Shit's getting real tense right now. I should have never shook that dude's hand. Mmm. The metaphors are so real right now. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. That's what those tickets were. Bruce? What do you want? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Mm -hmm. This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not going to have any for a while. Mm hmm. Listen, Bruce. Yeah. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Falcone. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. I agree. Let's go. Whenever you're ready. Let's go. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family they will get what they deserve. Understood. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Fuck. I thought there was going to be more than that. Now I sound like a fucking vigilante. Oh, no. Things always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Merrill. It's very hard and aggressive. That might have been too much. It might have been too much. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies. <laughs> We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. There's no going back either. Once you pick it, that you pick it. A warrant? What the hell's going on? 
Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind that? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. May not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Fuck happened or I? Not a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Selena, Catwoman? Ow! Oh! Introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Mm -hmm. Very. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. Mm -hmm. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Yeah. Hey, it's Harvey. Uh huh. Here we go. A little one on one time. It's an intense ass stare down right here. Nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe.
Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you like it. So do I. Too bad you can't let yourself admit it. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. I guess you're not gonna give it up as easily as you gave up your identity. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. I feel like I should have cold shouldered her the whole fucking time. Just no, straight dot I'm dot dot. Just... No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a badass looking suit. Oh shit, we're playing the game now. All right. Well, that's lovely. A very, very lovely room of death. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good Lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon. Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. There you go. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile mm. stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Okay, okay. Nothing left to bury. All right. Okay. Hmm. Can I move? Okay. What the 
whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Well, this is different, huh? There you go, killer. Looks like a bullet started this. Ooh. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Huh. Well, we don't have anything yet. I've seen these outfits before. The same mercs that broke into City Hall. Sure enough. Here you go, Batman. What's on the pallets? Check that shit out, homie. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? That explosive shit, bro. What you mean? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Hmm. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Okay. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. God damn Falcone. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Jesus. No. That bad? Where's his fucking eyeball? Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. No. Skylight Club. Put that in the tiny pocket right there. Check him out, Playboy. You gonna let me? There we go. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Ah, oh, Lord. A connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Okay. Interesting.
bloody hands, ripped up face. Hmm. Blast epicenter, unscorched area. So this one's all done. I can't link that one no more. All right. So what do we got? The epicenter with, what else do we got? Doesn't add up. Oh, really? That's interesting. So what could have ripped that dude's face off? Someone drove off after the explosion. Clearly. Clearly, is that all we got? Oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. I see how it's supposed to go down now. A cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? A nerve agent could make them psychotic. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone be leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Oh. Then things turned grim. That wasn't grim? Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. It was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No. But based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Okay, the sniper's nest, okay. Of course, casual grapple, love that shit. Okay, all right. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. <laughs> okay, all right. Batman's on the move. Uh-huh. Bingo. For a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Nice. Hmm. Killing time. I mean, you gotta smoke a cigarette, right? This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. 
Oh yeah? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Belconi, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. Beat the shit out of him. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. True what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop them. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. <laughs> Street justice, Thanks, motherfucker! <laughs> Tell me. The cab woman told you to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. We had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Please, no, no. Oh, God, no. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals is some kind of explosive. A weapon. I Woo! don't know. Balcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear, I swear. The street justice, bitch. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The that man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. He noted our non-violent approach. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We could have fucked that guy up, but You've we didn't. The persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. I did not. I hit a barrel, bro. I pried a little bit of fucking pressure on his arm. Get off my ball sack, Alfred. Fuck ass. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> I didn't do anything to it's him. What do you mean? Morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. Bro, I didn't fuck I, I didn't even to break be his an arm. Old fool on the subject. But as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. I hit the barrel, not his ribs, not his face. It made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. 
When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. <laughs> exactly, Decep. Exactly. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill is hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Oh, shit. Um... That's a tough call right there. Do we go with Vicky, who obviously wants to get the truth out there? Or do we go with fucking James Gordon, who is a who definitely could do some stuff with the police? Do we want to go social media? Or do we want to go with the police? Police are probably corrupted. Police are probably corrupted. She probably would end up getting killed. She keeps showing up where she's not asking. He's a good family man. I know he believes in the uh, police force. I feel like he has more pull with people in the city, even though he does work for the mayor. It would be nice to have him on our side. She just hasn't proved herself worthy of my trust yet, whereas I've seen him out there trying to do work. I'm gonna go with Gordon, going with my gut. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman. By any means necessary. Batman! Is planning. It ends tonight. Tonight! You're a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Ooh! Here we go. This, this is a silver bullet. That's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even wanna know where you got this. Don't fucking ask that. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't uh. get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. No, oh, God. Thank you. Honestly, knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby for once. <laughs> you know, as much as I appreciate you calling, you know, I got one thing, Crystal. I can't be bought. 
So you should know this isn't going to change a thing about the investigation of your family. Dwayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. Let's get it. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. It looked like that phone was on vibrate. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Jim! We're on a first name basis now. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. You know for a fact he wouldn't have this thing parked out here. Take two, please. Jesus Christ. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. Oh, shit, you can move the drone, okay. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Oh, <laughs> you're cute. So, uh, you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch us for now? Some hit down at the dock. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Lol. cameras the entire floor is under surveillance you'll be detected as soon as you enter no time for subtlety thunders here i couldn't tell if that was in the game or not after tonight <laughs> oh god Tig <laughs> should I even ask the right one that's the most heavily guarded door in the building gotta be Falcone's hideout well it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell four armed guards stealth not an option I'll put together a plan of attack stand by Options for taking this guy down.
Well, this is fucking crazy. There we go. There we go. Is there lightning outside? Or is it just thunder right now? I haven't checked out weather.com yet. Yo, what's up, Zucker? Okay. I thought we already linked him here. Yeah, I thought we already did this. I don't get it. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I got a plan. I'm going in. I'm going in. Let's get it. Good, your turn to crash his party. <laughs> Let's go. Yup, come on. Oh, he's down. You already know what time it is. Bam! Yup. Ooh, to the fucking face, son. That's what we do, baby. Oh shit. Come on. Woo! You already know. Yup. Come on. Boom. Yup. All the time right now. All the time. What do we got over here? Boom. Oh. Fucking swift kick to the chest, baby. He's bleeding in his, oh, oh. He's bleeding in his lungs. Fucking Batman. Let's go. Goddamn circus freak. Oh shit, son. He shot Here his teammates. You got no goddamn right to be here. I want to help. Oh ho 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 ho! Wham! Oh, oh! Directly to the fucking spine, huh? How about this one? A little bit of an AK-47. Hoping it will. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Mm -hmm. 
explosives armed. Fire when ready. The shit out of my house, son. Answers now, or you fall. Get up. Get up. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. <laughs> Still want to play games? We're all being played in, couldn't you? Those chemicals get so riled up about they're mine, all right. But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Get <laughs> Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? What do you mean? This city. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Woo! We out, baby! Yo, Gergmeister, what's going on, brother? <laughs> you said motherfucking freedom? Freedom! The Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. God damn, Batman! Just rolling through that bitch all hot and heavy. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. 
created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Batman. <laughs> Batman. Wow. What is this? Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? You and 32% of players shut Harvey out of the meeting. <laughs> really? Did you provide the quote for Nikki? I did. Nice. Nice. Did you break the dog shooter's arm? You and 51% showed mercy. Nice. The majority of the people show mercy. Uh, Who did you give the data to? 72% gave it to uh, Gordon. There you go. Batman deal with Falcone at the end. 82% uh, of players showed restraint. Nice. 18% of people fucking killed him. <laughs> Dang. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Next time on Batman. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. And swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters, too. Wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. 